Hey everybody, check it out. Here we have the Guniac Fiery Booty LED Afterburner Kit. Pretty cool looking little deal there. On a 3D printed pod. You can see how it's made here. And what you get. This is for my trusty old MIG. So the Hobby King MIG is getting an afterburner. Here's how it comes packaged. I didn't take anything out of there because I figured I'd kind of show you guys how mine came in the bag. Uh, made it here okay. Got your couple connections. Got a toggle switch there. So yeah, let me get uh, these straps off there and we'll be right back. Here it is all unraveled. So this is obviously going to be up in your radio bay, so to speak, because you got to hit the balance port on your battery. You can see it's pulling the plugs here, probably for 12 volt, be my guess. Um, then yeah, you're going to use this into your throttle or mix it if you have enough channels in your receiver, because you want it to go with your throttle stick. Um, it's got a nice little connection here so you can unhook it. And I'm not sure what that one's for yet, so... Maybe a spare part or an extension. Looks like you could use it as an extension for anything. But anyways, so there's that. So coming over here to this bad boy, I'm gonna have to open her up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that because on this one, you gotta glue this little strake on. So I'm probably just gonna simply cut that thing off so it's out of the way and then I'll glue it back on once, once it's all together and in there, I guess. Um, I don't know how else you do it, so. Once I get it out and we'll get the motor out, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, got the cover off. Here you can see um, where the motor is in there. So the afterburner is gonna go on the back there. So I did end up taking a knife and just cutting this front thing off. I'll glue it back on. Nobody will know it's on the bottom, right? So we'll get these two screws out, pop this bad boy out and uh, see what we can do. So I marked the wires for the ESC. I left one just black with nothing on it. One has one dot on each side of where it pulls apart. One has two dots on each side of where it pulls apart. That way, there's no fooling around. Uh, once you put the motor in, you hook them up right, you're done. So pretty easy. I just used a paint pen. You could use probably a silver marker or whatever, but um, mark two of the three so you know where they go. Here's the motor out on the table. So it's got this little cone on the back. I noticed mine was loose. Just a couple wiggles and there you go. So now the new one will go on. Or I'll glue it on, but it'll go on about like that. So I'm gonna get that put on there and then I'm gonna shove it back in the bird and we'll be back. She's mounted up, glued on. Now we're gonna install it back in the bird. So I've had a couple free wing jets. They come with these metal rods for pulling servo connections. I keep them because they're handy. You can see I've got to pull the wire all the way up through there and then it goes into the uh, uh, radio compartment. And so I strung it up through there. It goes all the way up through there. So I hook it the loop on there. And I'm gonna pull that through as I put that in there. And then the wires will be right up into place. Piece of cake. Everything's done and back in place. You can see the wires run up there. After burners down in there, you can't really see, but now you can. So we're gonna flip it over and do the rest of the wire. Here we go, got everything hooked up and installed. Um, yeah, light flashes on this thing. Um, I use this other wire as an extension because I'm gonna put all this stuff down underneath the radio tray in there. So what I did on mine is I hooked it into auxiliary four, and then I did a mix in the transmitter so um, throttle to aux four. So at different throttle settings, I can pinpoint when I want it to come on. So stay tuned and I'll get this thing buttoned back up and then we'll go out and we'll do a flight. I'll show you what it looks like in the air. Bottom's buttoned up, piece is glued on. That's just a little kicker I shot on there, but you can't even tell. There you go, piece of cake. Literally, if I wasn't doing the video, it would take like 10 minutes to maybe put that thing in there. If I was, now that I've done one to go faster, I'd probably do it in less. So there you go. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you at the field. All right, guys, here we go. We're at the field, we got everything ready to go here. I'm gonna plug it in. And for the MIG people, I'm gonna show the gear 
calibration sequence because a lot of people don't seem to quite understand that. But radio's on, throttle's down, gear's down. We're gonna plug in the battery. Let that do its thing. Okay, so that's good. Then the fire booty we're gonna plug in here. So that's in and good. So everything is done in here. Now, the landing gear, you've got your gear switch down. I'm gonna flick it up and let it do its thing and watch the inner doors. So you've seen them come up. Give it a second, flip the gear switch down. You see how they did their thing? Gear switch down. The doors will do its thing one more time. Now that then the gear will work fine. Now every time you flip that gear switch, the gear is going to go up and down. So there you go for you MIG people. Now, here goes the flight. Well, feel the whoosh and see the light. The fiery booty light. John's doing a gear check here. Now that was a cool landing. It's been so long since I've flown this, I forgot how nice it flies. This thing's a winner. Definitely a nice jet.
<laughs> What's that? I forgot the uh, speed brakes. Oh yeah. I'll give you a, uh, you can get a sight of the tailpipe there. It's so bright out and I know it doesn't show real well, but here's the afterburner. Oh. Here, let me get a little lower. There we go. Oh awesome. yeah. I like it, works good. It's pretty bright, but I could still see it when I was looking from the back. Um, someday we'll try a little bit dusker flight. Yeah. Make it pop a little better. But like, comment, subscribe, follow the links down below in the description. GB Linden, John VHRC are out.